What is going on everybody, it's your boy Abdullah coming at you with another video for the channel and welcome back to the DMV Sports Zone. And in today guys, we are previewing week 12 for our beloved Washington Commanders as the Atlanta Falcons are coming to Landover, Maryland to take on our team Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern Central Time, Fox. Before I get into this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more DMV Sports content as we try to push out as much fire content out there as possible. And let's get straight to the video. Guys, might need to be patient with me for this preview video because I'm a little stuffed up. So I'm gonna be breathing with my mouth a lot because I came and breathed from my nose. <laughs> um, but wow, Washington Commanders are above 500, six and five. Who knew when we were at one and four that we would be six and five at this point, somewhat controlling our destiny into the playoffs? I can't. Gotta start with just adjustments, culture. I know I was the one saying we gotta fire everybody in tank, but I guess that's just how Ron Rivera is in Washington, where it's just there's like a a switch where he just flips in the middle of the season. Kind of earlier this year compared to last year. But let's get to the injury report for week 12. Ben St. Juice is out, our stud cornerback. What a year he's having. I think it's pretty safe to have him out this game. Again, it's against Atlanta. Atlanta isn't the teams that we're probably going to face like later in the year with like San Francisco, Dallas, New York, Philly. So this is the safest game where we tell him to yeah, sit down, rest the ankle, dealing with the ankle. I think it had... Happened with the interception that Derek for or he tipped in Derek Forrest, picked it off last week against Houston. And Cole Holcomb finally put him on IR. I just, the whole foot thing, it sucks. But he's officially going to miss four games at least. He's already missed like a month and a half, I'm pretty sure. It would be nice to have him back. But again, just don't want to risk anything. Also, Dax Millen is out. So, punt return special guy, returner will be, I think, Jahan Dotson. So, that's going to be pretty interesting to see. I know as much crap as we give Dax Moon for returning punts, he's pretty solid. I mean, nothing much more we could ask for. I think it's just considering the fact that we had DeAndre Carter, and DeAndre Carter was considerably better than Dax Moon. But Jahan, a punt returner, that's going to be interesting to see if he can make something electric out there on special teams. But the big guy that we're hoping to see this week on a pitch count, number two overall pick not too long ago, Chase Young, he will be questionable for this game. First time he is questionable, and I think he's going to make his regular season debut this week. And for the Falcons, Kyle Pitts is out for the year. That sucks. I don't know if AJ Terrell is playing. Another defensive lineman is out. I forgot what's his name, but this Falcons team, uh, let's just talk about it. I mean, Marcus Mariota, Cordell Patterson broke the record for most kickoff uh, return touchdowns. I can't really name any of their receivers. Defensively, Terrell, uh, McGrady, Drady, uh, I, 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 I'm blanking out on Falcons player, but this Falcons team is five and six. A lot of people coming into the season thought they were going to win no more than three games, so they're still in the playoff hunt, and we are in their way. But last week, they barely beat the Chicago Bears with Justin Fields at home. But again, this week, it's a good test to see if. We're actually legit. Are we gonna play under? What are are we gonna play below to our opponents? So I think key number one, as always, run the ball down their throat. This Atlanta Hawks, Atlanta Hawks, Atlanta Falcons defense. This, by the way, on Sunday the games it's gonna be raining. It's gonna be really wet. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a run heavy game again. Ryan Robinson, Antonio Gibson, they are the key. To our off keys to our offense, where we pound the ball and then we eventually attack them through the air. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, their run defense is not good either. I don't, I don't think so. Bottom in the league, defensively, their defense is terrible. I, I don't think they're that good. I think we can find the holes in their defense. But it all starts with the run game. We run the ball, get those four or five chunk yardage, and then we pass the ball. It just opens up our offense. Scott Turner, make sure you call. A run play during the right time and not a play action on third and one where it can be easily, uh, easily first down if you just run up the middle by Robinson. So that's key number one, run the ball. Gotta do that. Key number two, feed the ball to our playmakers. Terry McLaurin. I've been saying this and another Washington Commanders content creator, my fellow friend Pedro Smith. We gotta give Terry the ball to the red, in the red zone. I don't know why he isn't. I mean, early on in the year, we targeted Jahan a lot before his injury, but. Terry McLaurin, we paid this man this much money. Target him in the end zone. It's not just feed tight ends, jump balls, or just run it. 
Put Terry on a slant one on one. I mean, who can guard that? Come on. Curtis Samuel, end of rounds, jet sweeps, using like Debo Samuel and San Fran, Jahan Dotson. Cam Sims, Yami Brown, Logan Thomas had a great game last week. We just, our offense is, we have the weapons. Now Taylor just has to make the right read. Scott Turner has to make the right call. And that's just what it is to get the ball to our playmakers. Key number three, it will always be a key. Win the turnover battle. We're going to be at home. I think there's going to be more fans this game compared to most games because not only is, is the team starting to win more, they're unveiling a Sean Taylor statue. So hopefully this un, uh, unveiling will cover up, well not cover up, or will make the, whatever happened last year during the Kansas City Sean Taylor incident, like just make that go away and just think about this more and a memorial service and a statue just to honor him and his name and what he did in this for the city and this team, a legend, may he rest in peace. He also died on my birthday. My birthday is on Sunday. I hate to bring it up, but it's just crazy. Sean was literally killed when I was like, I think 2009. I was seven years old. I was turning seven. So May you rest in peace and hopefully win this game for him and his whole family. But back to the keys to victory. That's just win the turnover battle. That's how you win games. I mean, 12 takeaways, 12 takeaways the last, I think, five, six games only had one the first four. Like, that's incredible. Like, we turn around, Jack Rio props to him. The defense playing as a whole, they're playing with an identity. And we love to see a smash mouth football. And... Honestly, I know I didn't say it, but Marcus Mariota, he, he can beat you through with his legs, but I love how like defensively we've gone better at defending mobile QBs. In the past, we've seen Jack Del Rio struggle with that, but we are getting better. We play against guys like Jalen Hurts, Dak Prescott, or who else is a mobile QB that I'm... I just, a lot of these guys, we're just gotten better at it. And if we put pressure on Marcus Mariota, Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, John Ridgeway, F.A. Obata, Casey Tula, Montes, and Chase Young comes back. Although he'll be on a pitch count, it's still better than nothing. Watch out, man. Just watch out. I know Cordella Patterson went off on us last time we played in Atlanta. That crazy game of Heineke, the way it ended. But again, is if we contain Cordella Patterson, who else is going to beat us? Oh, Drake London. He, I forgot about him. He, he's good, but again, we're not going to lose to Drake London. There's just no way he's a rookie. Got to give him more time. So, oh, Grady Jarrett was the defensive player. I, I think offensively, we're better. Defensively, we're better. All, all, all three phases of the game, special teams. Uh, it's going to be rainy. I think it's going to be a manageable game. I think it's going to be close, but eventually we're going to pull away. And our final score, my final score prediction is 24 to, hmm, I'll say 24 to 16 i think we come out on top by eight points i just think we're we're going into this bye week with the win or no we play the giants and then a bye week so we gotta have momentum playing against the giants because they're looking like they're falling off they lost to dallas on thanksgiving yesterday so with that being said guys that's pretty much the preview video for today i hope you guys had a great thanksgiving with your family and hopefully we get this dub on sunday it would be a great birthday gift Turning 20 and a Commander's W would just be great. It would be 7-5. and five. I, I, If we lose this game, it's really going to hurt our chances of making the playoffs because if we lose to Atlanta, how are we going to compete against Dallas, Philly, New York, San Francisco, even Cleveland with Deshaun Watson coming back. So playoffs, are they're looking likely, man. I mean, this Commander's defense team, we will ride with their defense. Taylor Heineke, just don't be a hero. Be a game manager. It's whatever they call you. Just win games. You're a winner, man. So I need, that's all we need, man. A winning QB in Washington. We haven't had that in so long. With that being said, guys, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more DMV Sports content as we try to push as much fire content out there as possible. Follow us on all social media platforms, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, at DMV Sports Zone. With that being said, I'm out. Commanders W, we need it. Peace. Left hand up. I will be singing the song after the post game if we win. <laughs>